Hello and welcome to your weekend tarot. Uh, this is going to be a reading for all signs. So this is going to be a the same reading for all signs. Um, and what this reading is, is going to be a message that the spirit guides or your guardian angels have for you um, coming into this current energy. Um, so we'll see what the cards can reveal. Um, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Um, and hit the bell notification button to get readings for updates for your sign. Um, but I do want to mention this is a, this is a message that I feel if you have clicked on this reading, then I feel like you've clicked on it for a reason. Um, and there may be something here. There may be a, a message um, within this reading um, that is supposed to be delivered to you. So consider it as um, this is is sort of meant for you type. Um, type reading okay let's see okay let's pull out the reversals see what's going on here Okay, so what we're seeing here is that there is a new chapter that you're currently approaching or there is a new romance that's on the horizon here for you. Now, there's a destined offering that's coming here because the overall energy appears to be that Ace of Pentacles. So we have this new beginning or this new chapter that's coming in. Now, this is a physical chapter, so there's a physical change happening, okay? A change in partner, a change in um, relationship status, a change in living situation, a change in roles, a change in job there is a new chapter okay that is coming your way let's look at let's let's highlight some of these um upright cards here okay so we've got this new chapter um it can be around an aquarius for some of you so there's a destined aquarius coming in now i feel like you're coming into an energy or you're coming into your next period is going to be one where you're going to be more more out there okay you're going to put yourself out there more you're going to be more confident you're going to be on line dating apps you're going to set up profiles you're going to be sort of the star so i'm seeing there's a lot of attraction coming in a lot of messages and a lot of attention is coming your way, which is fantastic. Page of Swords, you might not necessarily know how to deal with all this new attention that is coming your way. The Page of Swords says that there is a part of you that may feel not confident to embark on this new chapter, whatever this is, or whomever this is that's coming forward for you here. The Page of Swords says that you are still looking back to a certain situation, and you're growing complacent in a certain situation here. Now, there's a message here that you need to push yourself out of your comfort zone. This is the next step that you need to take in your current love journey. This is the way to contentment and to happiness. That fulfillment is in front of you, but you're not seeing it because you're too busy looking to the past. Now, for some, the star with the page of swords, healing needs to happen. You need to forgive. You need to forget. You need to close off a chapter. You need to say goodbye to something here. Now, it's intense and it's going to hurt. But it may need to happen here to move you from that Page of Swords energy. This may be what is required to move you from that sort of energy. Okay, because you don't want to be stifled here with that Nine of Pentacles. Yes, there's, there's an element of complacency here, but the Nine brings fulfillment as well. So this new chapter, this new person, give it a chance because it can fulfill you in ways that you've never thought possible. Let's check out some of the reversals though. Okay, I really am drawn to this air energy, the five of swords reversed. This is lack of movement, moving away from a deceptive or a toxic cycle. Now, it may involve three people. We've got a love triangulation happening in that left-hand corner. So those of you that are involved with multiple people, this is a situation that's going to be very hard to leave. The only way you're going to leave it is by embarking on something new here. It could be a new hobby, a new job, a living situation, something that's going to deter you, distract you from engaging in that third party situation. So consider this an actual blessing um, and give things a chance because this could be your saving grace that could remove you from a very toxic situation, a situation that's not going to bring you forward. The moon is here, okay, cancer energy is coming up for some of you. Cancer is attachment, it's clinginess, it's sentimentality, it's nostalgia. Um, 
what I'm getting is that with the Two of Swords reversed, if this is another person's energy that I'm picking up, um, if this is someone else, this is what the cards want to tell you, is that this person is not rejecting offers coming up for them. They're actually being open to them. So if that's the case, they're dating other people, they're going out there, they're accepting offers, they're they're being social, they're not blocking, they're not doing, they're not rejecting these sorts of offers, okay? They're, they are remaining open. Um, and I feel like if you're on the other side of that and you see that, you're going to start to freak out. Why? Because that person is going out there and doing everything that they want and and you'll sort of like sit there and think, wow, well, they're doing those things. Why can't I? Like, it's a little bit unfair, but let me tell you, if this is the person that's going out there and doing all those things, maybe it's time you do the same thing too. Just a message here for some of you, those who are attached emotionally to this person, maybe that's the message um, that's coming up here with that two of swords uh, reversed. We've got the Seven of Pentacles reversed as well. Interesting dynamic here. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is not seeing growth, okay? You're not seeing growth in a situation because you're not accepting what's the, the, the new things that are coming. How will you see growth if we don't get out of our comfort zones, if we don't expand our horizons, if we don't put ourselves in someone else's shoes? I feel like there's a lot of contrast that's coming. And I feel like there's hypocrisy that's also coming up around you or around someone that you're dealing with. Lack of growth is a Seven of Pentacles. This is, your, this is your lack of getting organized in a situation here. So this is actually disorganization to see it reverse. Being disorganized about an issue. Okay, disorganization is coming up. So things need to be switched up and you need to start doing things maybe in a routine, maybe in a more orderly fashion, maybe being more consistent. This is all about follow through. And I feel like this is uber important for you in this current energy. Okay, and you're not seeing growth. Maybe some of you aren't seeing growth because you can't swallow your pride and be the bigger person and apologize. Or you can't see eye to eye with this person. Or you can't see how their apology is going to help you. I mean, it's a really odd sort of situation. And everyone's going to be in a very different aspect of this. They're going to be at different levels, of course. But the overall message here is that the universe or God is giving you this amazing opportunity or person or journey and some of you are just too stifled, you're, you're too resistant, um, or you're looking back to the past. Now, maybe there's a message here, some of you need to let bygones be bygones. Some of you want to resurrect the past. Maybe that's not possible right now. It doesn't mean that can't happen in the future. And just because there might be something new here, it doesn't mean you can't go back to something that's familiar. But give this, whatever this is, a chance. Give it a chance and you may be genuinely surprised with what comes up here. So again, this is for any sign watching from Aries to Pisces. I hope this reading has been helpful. Um, it's just a little bit of a of guidance, I suppose, around this current time frame. So thank you for tuning in. It really does mean a lot. Please don't forget to drop a like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button to get updates for readings for your individual signs or your elements. I've got those videos up on my channel, so please feel free to check them out. If you are after a private reading, please email me. You will find my email in the About Me section on my YouTube channel. Otherwise, it's always a pleasure, guys. Thanks for tuning in um, and embracing these messages that I have here for you. Um, I do wish you happiness, health, healing, and of course, I'm sure I'll catch you tomorrow. So um, thank you again, everyone. Much, much love. And until next time, bye for now.